this is how you add text to your video in CapCut PC. To do that, simply go up and click on the text option. And from here, we have different options to choose from. You can either add text using the default or the preset, or you can add as effect. You can add text template, auto caption, and local caption. For this, let's stick with the default caption. As we go on in this video, I'm going to show you different options that are available here. Now, you just have to click on the default text. To do that, you can click on this add to track or you can long press and drag it onto your timeline. Please pay attention to this. Anywhere your player is, that is where this text is going to be added from. So, for example, my playhead I move it forward to this particular position that is where this text is going to be added from. Now if I go up here and click on add to track, my text is going to be added from the beginning of this playhead. You can take a look at it, but if, if I take my playhead backward and I go up here and click on add to track, this text is going to be added from the beginning of this playhead so you pay attention to this in case you want to add your text from any particular position in your video but if you add your text from any particular position you can simply move your text backward and forward to do that simply click on the text long press on it and take it forward or anywhere you want the text to start from now let me show you how to edit this text after adding it to your timeline after adding this text you have to click on the text to edit the text simply come up to this particular position edit what you have here and let's say we are going to call this beginner so you can edit from here another option is to double click inside this text on the screen and you can edit from here also after editing this text, if you want to change the font on this text or you want to add color to this text, all you have to do is to come down to this particular position and from here we have the font, we have font size and we have pattern. If I want to make this text bold, I just have to click on this bold option and it makes the text bold. If I want to underline it, I click on here to underline this text. If I want to make it italic, I click on here to make it italic. Now, if I want to change the font of this text, I just have to click on this particular position where you see font and from here you can select from any font of your choice. I'm going to add this secret font and that is what I'll be using for this. Okay, so this is our text. If you want to scale up this text, what you can do is to use the font size or you can click here on your screen. You can click here and scale up your text anyhow you want it to be if we scroll down you will see we have color option here if i select this i can change the color of this text to any color of my choice if you go down again we have different option here we have the character spacing if i want to make add spacing between these characters i'm going to add spacing between the characters if you come down here this line spacing it happens when you have different lines of text then if you come down we have alignment if you want to use the center align the left align anyone you want to use from here you can do that then we have the preset which talks about the style of this text anyone i select from here is going to take that particular shape for my text now if you come down we have different transform you can scale this text up or you can scale it down then we have the uniform scale position and order then this is the opacity it controls the opacity of this text if i want to reduce the op opacity of the text i can simply use this particular option if i want to add stroke to this text you select this make sure it's selected and you have added a stroke if you want to change the color of the stroke or the thickness of the stroke you by using this particular control button you can change the color of this stroke by using this or you can pick any color at all if you want to add background to this you select background and it's going to add background to your text if you come down there are different options that you can choose from you can also add glow to your text you can add select to add glow to your text 
or you can also add shadow to your text if i click on shadow i will remove shadow if i add glow i can add glow you can change the color of the glow you want to add to your text let's make use of white and we can control the intensity from here we can control the range from here if you come down we can add shadow we can also add make this text to be a curve type of text if i increase the strength it's going to curve this inwards if i reduce the strength just like this and this is how you play around using your text in CapCut.